Quite a turnaround performance for Davis Patti's AHSTW squad from the week one loss. It had a lot of people surprised to a, kind of a statement win here. Would you say you guys came out and made a statement tonight with that 47 nothing win? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that was our goal to make a statement, just to prove we're a better team, you know. Uh, all 50 guys, coaches, everybody involved were uh, pretty embarrassed and uh, down about our loss and performance last week. So uh, we, we just wanted to play better and prove we were a better team than we were last week. Just as far as some of the performances tonight, Dustin Engel obviously stands out, ran the ball hard like he did a week ago, but found the end zone a few times tonight. Yeah, we executed our blocking quite a bit better this week too. You know, I don't know that he necessarily ran any harder, but we gave him a little more room to run. Um, and it's tough to do against Tri Center. They got some real big bodies, and you know they brought it. They hit hard and uh, play aggressively too. But uh, we just we executed better up front this week, and uh, that was the difference probably in, in at least his rushing performance. Well, you you talked about hoping and praying that it was true. The biggest uh, improvement was week one to week two. How big of a jump do you feel you made? Uh, it was uh, it was it was a good sized leap. You know, I mean we're we're still not where we want to be, and no one is in week two. Uh, but we feel a lot better about our execution, at least this week compared to last week. So um, it was it was a good step. It's a good starting point to uh, improving. Uh, but you know we got to keep building and keep getting better. I thought your special teams. Uh, you maybe had one penalty on special teams, but other than that, about every punt return was a pretty positive gain for you. Is that I guess evaluate your play there? Uh, our special teams was much improved, ju just as much as our offense and defense. You know, we, we felt all three phases we didn't execute that well. So I, I would agree with you there. Uh, I think, yeah, we had a penalty on the first return of the night. Um, but otherwise, you know, they, they understood the scheme better and executed it better. And, and uh, yeah, we're proud of, proud of their efforts. I don't know what Tri Center ended up with with total yardage tonight, but it couldn't have been a, a great number. Uh, you made a lot of plays in the backfield. Uh, how were you able to do that? Uh, I sound like a broken record here, but the guys just, they understood their job better. I think they communicated tonight and, and they played uh, a little more aggressively, a little more freely. Last week, um, I think they were tentative, a little bit unsure of themselves and what, what we were asking them to do possibly, uh, or, or just trying to uh, do too much. But tonight, you know, they played a little more freely in their technique and aggressively. And, uh, and for the most part, it worked. It hurt us a few times, but uh, they, they did play better. When you have Clarinda coming up next week, you probably can't really enjoy this one for too long. Oh, absolutely not. You know, they hung a huge number on Atlantic week one there, and uh, they're going to present all kinds of problems for us. So, uh, no, I mean, I want our guys to be happy and enjoy this for a little bit, but, no, we, we really can't relax. we gotta, we got to focus in and, and try to take it. Uh, you know, again, one week at a time and, and really focus in on this new, uh, new opponent we were not familiar with at all. Coach, thanks. Congratulations on the win. Absolutely. Thank you very much.